to Bit Gardner's video training series. Today we'll be talking about Smart Chart Standard Management. The first step in standard management is to create a new standard. And in order to do that, you first have to select which color family you want that standard to go into. Uh, color families are groupings of standards that have the same settings. Uh, for example, for a color instrument, they might have the same difference equation and tolerance settings. So you can first select from your existing color families, or you could create a new color family to add standards into. And once you've selected your color family, you can then click the Add Standard button to create a new standard, name it. And after you've created a number of standards, you can adjust the settings by selecting the color family. Only the color family will allow you to adjust the settings. Selecting the individual standards will not allow you to adjust them. Only the entire color family can be adjusted at the same time. Now you can also import standards that have been sent to you or export your standards to send to somebody else. To do that, you simply select your standard or standards uh, or you could select the color family uh, that you want to export and then click the export button and simply choose a location and click save. Now you can then email that standard or standards to somebody else. Uh, once they copy it to their computer, they could use the import button. Find the desired standard to import. And now that standard exists in my standard management as well. Additionally, you can password protect your standards so that no one can adjust the settings without the proper password. To do that, click the protection tab, then select your standard or color family that you want to protect. Type in a password, click lock. Now in order to change the settings for the color family I just locked, I'll need to enter the password and click unlock. <laughs> 